On today's episode of the Grab My Banner podcast, we have a new challenger entering the arena. Ooh, who could it be? We got a new challenger going to be featuring on the gambling segment every week for the next few weeks here on out. Very excited to announce it. It's been a long time in the works. Cannot wait. We also are going to talk what nerfs are needed to bring Seer back down to earth. Why? Because fuck Seer. You're ruining the game. It's ruining the game, baby. We got to move on from that. Then we're going to talk a little bit of discussion after It's Timmy streamed for four, 54 straight hours to get to Pred solo. How long could you play Apex Legends before you gave up, theoretically? Then we get uh, we have some other segments, Apex Legends Fantasy Football Draft and Grab My Bachelor. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Well, here we are again. Are you tired okay. of being a big right. giant loser and jacking Let's get all this show time? on the road. Check out our website to find local hot Skip singles in your that. area. Okay, here we go. Hello, who is it? Hey there, I'm the plumber you called. I'm here to clean out your pipes. All right, come on, let's get on with it. Skip, skip. skip. Now let's skip that. This skip. What the hell is that? What? What the hell is that? Wait, what, what's going on? Oh, what the fuck is going on? Is somebody there? Who is that? Say something. Hey, no need to get razzled yet. We're all just having a good time. Who the hell are you? You all right, mate? Looking a bit messy. Should I phone your mom? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time she caught me, but wait, hold, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on one second. What even are you? I'm in my room doing my own thing, my me time, and you come in here looking like some sort of ghost. Who are you? Suppose you had a bigger g- You think then you'd have friends? Oh, all right. I dare you to pull out your phone right now and Google the global average because I am right there. Wait, 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 wait. You just came out of my roof. You're some sort of apparition and now you're making fun of my Johnson size? What is, what is happening? Oof, you should be ashamed. Well, I'm definitely not proud of myself right now, if that's what you're trying to get at, but... Uh, listen, I, I don't know what you are, or what you're doing here, but this is weird. Listen, I don't want to be here any more than you do. I'm still deciding whether or not I need to wash my hands after this. Oh, ha ha, I get it. I Can, can you stop it with the jokes, please? I don't even know what you are. You're some sort of, like, jack-off shame ghost who came in here barged into my room in the middle of my me time and now i feel really bad and i feel weird and you're just making it way worse you poor little plonker never had a chance <sighs> i have hit a little bit of a a rough spell ever since jessica left she's already posting pics on instagram with brad it's fucking goatee i knew he was gonna swoop in i always knew that fucking brad was bad news wait hold why am I even telling you? know what? Screw it. I don't even care anymore. Just, I'm going to lay it all on the line. I'm sad. I'm lonely. I'm just trying to get by, okay? We all make mistakes, mate. Eh, take this time to reflect. Maybe brush your teeth while you're at it. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Jessica did kind of suck, too. I think she was poisoning my food, if I'm going to be honest with you. She was buying like three boxes of Rad X a week, and my hair's been falling out ever since. I've never even had a rat problem. I probably should have put two and two together at this point. Hey, look on the bright side, mate. Your face looks a little better now. Yeah, I have lost a little bit of weight. Uh, probably from, like, throwing up from eating rat poison. But, yeah, like, I have I look a little bit better, I think. Ah, uh, don't kill yourself over this. Lucky for me, I caught up with you, and here we are. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. And, and I can't believe I haven't seen it this whole time. Because you're some sort of weird, jacking-off, shaming ghost that just waltzed into my bedroom, but... You're right. I'm gonna get up. And I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna do it. Because for so long, I've been locked away in this bedroom. Thinking about the situations in life that I could have. Rather than going out and making those situations happen. I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to go to the club. I'm going to go to Target. And I'm just going to be me. Somebody that I should have been a long time ago. 
because I'm tired of being like this. I want to be me. I don't want to be locked away, staring at some screen, wasting my life away. I want to be out living, doing, seeing, believing. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put on my best outfit that I got. I'm going to put on my biggest smile that I got. And I'm going to believe in myself. I'm going to be the best version of myself that I can be. Not jacking off all the time. Like, like all the, like I jack off a lot. So much. So much. And I'm going to stop. Not completely. I'll never stop completely. But I'm going to stop for now. And this night. And I'm going to go out and live. Thank you, weird jacking off shaming ghost. Thank you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Grab My Banner podcast, episode number 49. And Kyle is out of silver, too, baby. Round of applause. Everybody clap. There you go. Woo-hoo, clap it up. Gold six. Clap it up. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. He's out of I'm, silver, I'm two, gold baby. two now, bitch. He's out of silver, but two. But where'd you start? It doesn't matter. I'm higher than you now. Uh, Brian, we got to be nice to him, okay? Because we, we roasted this fool last week. Listen, okay? I, he, I, I deserve you, Let me this. put it this He way. deserves this. I will this. give you props for the grind. Yes. You did do this without us. Yes, he did. I did it I'm, solo cute. I'm giving you credit for that. You did do a good job. Congratulations on getting out of the Plato lobbies. There you go. And getting into some lobbies that are- He's in Lego act- lobbies now. Yeah, he's in Lego <laughs> lobbies. I mean, we're, we're all- You're all in Lego lobbies. Not bitch. me. I'm in the uh, builder blocks. I'm in builder blocks now. Are you, are you, oh, I'm yeah. in platinum now. Are you in platinum? Yeah, I'm in platinum. Okay. Okay. But Kyle, once again, congratulations. You're out of silver two. We said, me and Brian said last week at this table, if you didn't get out of silver two before next week's episode, you were going to get torched like nobody's ever I been torched you know, before. I was literally sitting at work. It was slow as fuck. I'm like, how can I fuck with Kyle this week yeah, if that's, he doesn't make it? That's that was what goes leg- through my head. That was a legitimate option as the week went on. So as I was like good at getting through my work, I was sitting there going, "Man, I gotta go home and grind because I <laughs> I can't I can't be silver." Too this podcast, week. I think we I speak for everybody here. This podcast has warped our brain to where we're like, "I'm gonna get roasted this week." Fuck oh, my life, dude. It sometimes <laughs> it is fucking horrible. It's daunting. Like, you're just like ah. when you fuck up on a line. You're like, "Oh my god, I hope they fucked up worse than me." <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah. If I'm oh. like. As soon as I played Silver 2 and you guys brought it up, I was like, oh, dude, I'm going to be so grilled this week. It's yep. not even funny. Yep. So, uh, congrats, Kyle. He's out. He's ready to go. He's now. No, he's not only out of Silver 2, but he's all the way up, almost to plat. So, congratulations, Kyle, once again. Uh, boys, let's get into the rest of the show here because we've got a lot to talk about. Let's start off. Football season is right around the corner, so let's get into our Rays Energy Question of the Week, and I think this is the most we've all been excited for a segment, a Rays Energy segment, in a very long time. Rays Energy Question, don't forget to head on down to repsports.com where you can use code BANNER for 15% off all Rays Energy products. Code BANNER, B-A-N-N-E-R, Rays Energy Question of the Week, Apex Legends, fantasy football draft baby here we go boys we got to figure out the order that is going to go in here we have a hat we need to get some paper write the names on the paper oh he's already got got it it. wow he's already going all right who wants to go first you're picking it okay the odds Uh, are the same no matter what you're picking it wait to open it up okay i'll wait okay got mine what the fuck are these papers, Kyle? They're, Kyle, they're these tiny. are the what tiniest the fucking you... papers I've Jeez. ever seen in my life, Kyle. Bro, it's smaller than my fingernail. All right, you, you guys ready? You lost yours? All right, well, me and Brian well, can... We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. You get... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, there, there you go. There you go. stuck in the oh, fucking lip of the bill. Okay, All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, fuck. I didn't want this, Fuck dude. me. I did not want this. Oh. Uh, I got number one. Did you get two? Fuck. I got number three. Oh, well, that's that's, that's not bad. I, I got number one. I got two. It could be worse, but it, fuck, I wanted, wanted octane, octane, I wanted number two. <laughs> yeah, you wanted octane, didn't you? Cut, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, so I got first pick. Brian has third pick. Kyle's got second. Yes, so it'll sir. go me, Kyle, Brian. This is a snake draft. So it'll go me, 
Kyle, Brian, Brian, Kyle, me, me, so on and so forth. Snake yes. draft, just like any other fantasy football yes, draft. Sir. And we've got six positions here. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver one, wide receiver two, tight end, and then the leader of your defense. Okay, so we will all get to choose a leader of our defense, all right? Meaning you can pick based on whoever you get. You could have a good corner, safety, linebacker, nose tackle whatever what have you whatever okay you so we're all going to get six players six legends as players and we can put them in any slot that we want but at the end all of these slots have to be filled so you could really fuck yourself in the final rounds if you fill it up early with your wide receivers and then you're stuck drafting lifeline as a tight end yeah that would be pretty shitty um so you got to name the player you, you got to name, name the, the player that you draft and the position you're putting them to immediately okay yeah, yeah. So let's get into it here. Power rankings. I got to think that Fuse goes number one to quarterback. He's the number one quarterback. He, like He's head and shoulders above anybody that could play I would say he's the number one quarterback on the board, but the whole idea with a fantasy draft is, is the drop-off between the number one quarterback and the number two quarterback a bigger difference than the number one defensive player and the number two defensive player? Yeah. Where's that fall off at? Is it worth it to take somebody higher where there's just less – players that are good enough to fill that role exactly that's where it's going to get tough and i think running back and quarterback brian are going to be the toughest after those first two picks are taken because running back theoretically you can really put anybody there but who's going to be dominant enough it, who running back traditionally in in regular football gets the second most amount of touches on the field which means that they do the most for the offense aside from the quarterback mm -hmm. so you want someone that's going to be just electric and absolutely dominant there. I think that you there's a very real option to say you're going for uh, to say that you're going for a different position than quarterback. It doesn't have to be all quarterbacks out the gate, even though there's only a few good options for that. I, I tell you right now, I kind of actually wanted third, but I'm happy I got second. You're going to get back to back picks here, and I'm, I kind of wanted third as no, well because I no, no, to. I get back to back. Oh, you get I'm back third. to back. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Third. I'm two, so no matter what, I'm always in the middle. Okay. That's kind of good, kind of bad. It's, kind it's of only three people. There's only three people. There's only three people. people. It wouldn't be the worst Listen, thing in the world. But it's not like you have pick five in the draft. But you know what that means, right? What? It means I'm getting crypto. Yeah, you're getting I'm getting I mean, lifeline. You don't know that. That's true. I'm getting you, lifeline. You don't, you don't know that for sure. Lifeline is the most useless are character. Gonna take it's gonna be are you Listen, gonna take lifeline? Listen, you might see some solid picks out of me and you, you might see some surprises i'm you telling know? you okay. right now if you draft crypto early you're a punk ass i pick. think i have a surprise defensive pick that nobody's gonna take and i'm kind of excited for it but i boys, don't know if you do anything else do we got anything else on this uh power rankings list we got fuse at number one obviously i think that uh, octane's gotta be two octane's number two i think sure. octane's two I think it's clear cut. Lifeline, lifeline's got to be last. Yeah, yeah. she's got to be the lowest. There's power really ranking. nothing. I don't, honestly, I don't know what Brian's drafting because I don't know what number three is. Number, th see, that's the thing is I don't have a number three. I have number three and number three A. <laughs> like or, that's true. You, you get know, two. It's, I get that two back to back. It's less pressure on me what to pick. I just get to take the two best people available at that time. I got you. Yeah, you guys want to get into it? it? Let's I'm get down. Into it. With the first overall pick in the 2021 Apex Legends Fantasy Football Draft, Wyatt selects Fuse, quarterback. What a pick, boys. That's eh, given. Yeah. No, no I thought. Could, I brain wish I could say brain. that I didn't brain see that coming, pick. but yep. I definitely saw that coming. Yep. Fucking Cross brain dead Cross Fuse pick. off, bitches. Cross Fuse off, bitches. I'm throwing bombs down the field. He's throwing bombs. All right. Who's up? Me. Kyle. Um, I'm definitely taking Octane. Octane number two overall. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to say what position I'm going to put him at. Um, yeah. Fuse was a given at quarterback. What I'm actually going to make him my my wide receiver. Oh, I, that's the first surprise of the draft. I, I thought he was going to. I would have put him running. I would have put him running. Back. Back I want him to get well. more touches. But I don't. That, I don't hate but, the wide know. receiver pick. I don't hate it. Brian, I'm I mean, very excited for Brian's draft. Okay, I. Actually, <clears throat> I'm going to put Octane running back. My bad. Okay. Wow. Do we allow that? No. He already committed. Do, I, you, you committed. Commi you he locked already, it in. He started to go to my. You pick. locked you it were in. You locked in. That's you, fine. You fine. locked I'll it take in. Okay. Here. Yep. Take okay. it. Okay. I think I have to take the, the, like you mentioned, there's a lack of quarterbacks. Yeah. So I fear if I let this one go, I'm going to be hurting a little bit. Mm -hmm. So for my quarterback, I'm going straight up for, I'm going to go Bangalore. 
Bangalore at quarterback. Bangalore at my quarterback. What? Okay. I want a little speed, a little getaway from the pressure. Okay. I also want to be able to shoot something down the field, get a little smoke going. Okay. I trust her to run an offense, organized, straightforward. I Bangalore did not have Bangalore on my uh, quarterback I scale. Quarterback I actually quarterback. had Bloodhound as my my second quarterback. Really? I didn't he even scans have that. the field. Mm, not bad. I not mean, bad. Not he bad. also has a speed boost. So oh, yeah. yeah, I bet Bangalore gets it under yeah. pressure, clutch moments, things like that. I want that there. Uh, second pick is I think the next weakest spot, especially since Octane is gone, is that running back slot. So Wraith, I am lining up Wraith inside oh, of the fuck fucking, damn it, dude. Take that. fucking damn it. Bro, a free 20 yards, free touchdown every time I get near the end zone. Mm-hmm. Done. Mm-hmm. All right, Kyle, you're up. All right. I'm going to take, uh, I'm actually going to take Bloodhound as my running back. Fuck yeah. Beast pissed. Uh, no, I'm happy. I'm very really? happy because I wanted this guy to be here when uh, I, when it came around. I, I know who it is. Who is it? I know who Gibraltar? you want. Go, it's Say it. Gibraltar. No, really. I Go. am taking uh, Pathfinder uh, okay. as my wide receiver uh, one. Okay, that's fine. I love okay. me some Pathfinder. That's uh, that's a really good pick for wide receiver. But you know what? I think there's better ones out there currently. And then I kind of – I'm kind of stuck here because I know I'm going to get stuck with lifeline and the only logical place to put lifeline is running back. So I'm going to leave my running back spot open and I'm actually going to go for my tight end here and I'm going to take Gibraltar. Such a waste of Gibby. Nah. Bro, just take the loss on the fucking tight end slot. You don't need it. Draft two wide receivers. You need and you a should tight have, end. You should have put fucking Gibby at running back. Personal protector – Fucking bus runs through everyone. Where would I put Lifeline? In. You put her a fucking tight end and let her get fed to the fucking wolves. <laughs> She's gonna get shit on, bro. I, every so single what? time yeah, they got Gibraltar busting back down there. my front you got door. Gibraltar back there to cover your ass. He's too fat. He's too fat. This he he can block for me. That's what he was gonna do back there. Is block for you? Nah. And the one time nah. you need to hand it to him, he's Jerome Bettis up the fucking gut. Nah, I need him at my tight end position. <laughs> Kyle, you're up. Mm. This is a tough one. Well, you get two back to back right now. No, he doesn't. No, no, you don't. You're in the oh, middle. Okay. He's in the middle. <laughs> He's right. the monkey in the middle. <laughs> Bitch. Actually, I don't think you guys are going to take my quarterback. So I'm going to go with uh, Rev for defense. Okay. He's going with the defensive pick here, Brian. Okay. Interesting pick. Going defense this early. But okay. I respect it. That I mean, that's fair. Um, so the next picks for me is I'm going straight up. Double wide receiver. Okay. I get two picks in a row. I know who they're going to be. Wide receiver one, Valk. Fuck. That was going to be my wide receiver two. That was, gonna that was going to be my wide receiver two. That was a good one. Easy for me. Wide receiver number two. I want Mirage. Fuck. That was my other wide receiver two. Oh, fucking damn too. it. Bro, it would not be me if I did not take Mirage in a draft. Uh, I fucking love Mirage. I know you do. But d- listen, Valk. Just get some fucking hang time. Bangalore, you don't even have to be a great quarterback. I'm looking for flexibility, people that can create separation while I have a mobile quarterback. I feel it. That's what I want, and that's what I'm building. And a running back, that is a fail-safe. If I need a first down, I have a first down. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, Kyle, you're back. All right. And I'm going to do my sneaky quarterback pick. I'm taking Horizon as my quarterback. Fucking damn it. Taking everything that could be a wide receiver. I know. You're just playing to put a horizon up there and have her throw down to the yep, person, aren't pretty you? much. Or she can jump off the top and automatically get past the line. Yeah. That's... I mean, straight into the linebackers. Yeah, that's great. Well, you still get free. <laughs> you get a free 10 yards out of it. So, I mean, fuck. Uh, so, now it's me, right? Yep, that's you. So, all of my extra wide receiver picks were taken. And so, <laughs> I had a... And you're still going to get fucked over with lifeline. Yeah, I'm still going to get lifeline. So I'm going to have to go with my defensive pick here. And I actually, I really wanted this for defense. I wanted Rampart putting up the walls on the defense. Uh, She was actually going to be my other quarterback if you guys took Horizon. Uh, Just lay down the fences and stand Mm -hmm. behind them. Uh, And then for my other wide receiver, the only other one here with any sort of movement ability is Loba. So Tragic. I'm Loba. I was going to yeah. be mine. Ouch. You punk ass bitch. Yeah. You said she sucked. That, that's you the said only, she sucked I don't like her here. I would easily trade her for a so, bag of Cheetos. Right now we have Caustic, Crypto, Lifeline, and Seer, or Seer and Watson. Mm-hmm. Yep. Those are the only ones left. Mm-hmm. That's not, not very good. I would expect all of those people, for the most part, to be absolutely shitty at playing the game like if you needed an offensive player i might take seer just for the simple fact that he has like an eight pack 
and I feel like a I lot feel of football, like he could yeah. change direction. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel I feel like, like he could change anybody direction. Anybody with an eight pack, I feel like, just naturally has some sort of athletic ability. A little bit. Yes. I mean, maybe more than more than crypto. Definitely. Special guest. Before we introduce you, does does uh, having an eight pack translate? I don't have one. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. That, that takes it away. <laughs> that is who he, and what? All right. Kyle, you are up. I'm taking Caustic as my tight end. Okay, not a bad pick. Fuck you. Brian's getting fucked right now. That was my pick. Actually, I really like my team aside from my tight end. But I get two picks back to back. And now I want something that's going to be very... I need to solidify my defense. I feel like my offense is good. My defense, I need to have someone who can be an absolute ball hawk, who knows where everything's going at all points in time and can keep track of every literal person on the field at one time. I'm taking Seer. Okay. Seer there, that scan. Eight pack. The ability to just throw his little ult down and see where everyone's at. And the eight pack. And the heartbeat center. Also the eight pack, yeah. I mean the eight pack too, yeah. Yeah. If we have to mention that. Which leaves me with one pick left. I have to take a tight end. I am taking Watson. That at is my such tight a end. tough pick at tight end, dude. Listen, <laughs> your am line I is expecting, getting fucked. Am I expecting Watson whatsoever to make a block? No. Yes. What? In a different sense. <laughs> no way. In a different sense. Listen, have you ever seen those PC Watsons that set the fucking fence on people when they get drop on, like, on, on drop? They'll set a fence on somebody. I've seen that, yeah. 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 I expect this Watson to do that to the fucking star edge rusher that every damn time. That slowed him down, like, just a little bit. Dude, yeah. listen, if I set a fence there and that slows them down a little bit, that's fine. Because I'm going to set another one more fucking fence behind it, and by that point, Bangalore is going to get the speed boost. I don't Hopefully. need him to be great. We I just hope. need him to be able to... Think of it like a chip block. I don't want him to hard block. Just chip block and get to the flats. I feel it. Okay. Kyle. I got to take crypto as my wide receiver, <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> maybe you, you had to lock crypto dude. to a wide oh, out. That's no. You're trash. Oh, no. That's not trash. You're just trash. Good. And then my final pick has to be lifeline at running back. And I knew that was going to happen the second I opened up the number one slot. So, so Wyatt, you went first. Let's Recap, go through the teams. Run Here it we one go. time. Quarterback, Fuse, running back, lifeline, wide receiver one, Pathfinder, wide receiver two, Loba, tight end, Gibraltar, and the leader of my defense is Rampart. Your lineup, quarter, few, quarterback, you got the best quarterback in the draft. Yeah. That's fine. Wide receiver, Pathfinder, I think is top three in the for wide receivers. That's, that's fine there. Uh, Loba sucks ass. I dude, I'm Loba's gonna, to, gonna suck. I think lifeline, she's all right. Lifeline's gonna suck. Get, have wide receiver. Eh. I mean, honestly, I'd rather he be a running back. No, I'd rather toss her the ball, tell her to throw her thing down the field, and call it a good five yards. I think, I think Loba for me is going to be more of like a. Uh, he, here's the thing about Loba: she she's has thick thighs. Uh, low man wins. I think she can get some lives. yards after the catch. Oh, I thought you were going to go the blocking running back or the blocking wide receiver stat. She could do the that as well, but shit. she's not going down the field. She's doing slant routes and then she's catching okay. it. And In then traffic. her thick ass, her thick fucking ass is going to shed tackles Listen, and go up the field. Gibraltar at tight end. You got the best blocking tight end, but you got no running back to follow it. So I don't know what the fuck you're going to do there. I don't know either. Um, yeah. Rampart on defense. Like, honestly, that sounds like a great idea on paper until you realize that half of our legends go through the air. Mm-hmm. And you're definitely fucked on that. I I, I actually really like my Listen, defense. I think my defense I think is it, a strong part. I think your defense is mid pack. Uh, Kyle, your team. Um, quarterback Horizon, running back Bloodhound, wide receiver Octane, wide receiver Crypto, <laughs> defense Revenant, and my tight end is Caustic. Dude, bro, I like everything but the crypto. <laughs> okay, crypto's bad. Oh, right, crypto's listen, bad. You basically don't. You basically have one wide receiver I, in a fantasy football league. I have league. the best wide receiver. Though. You're gonna have to hope that my Blood dude outruns. Out yeah, you're, dude, you have Tyree Kill and some dude that you picked up in round fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> Like you signed him to a 15 day like minimum contract. Yeah. You literally signed him just enough to work him out, and then you said to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he's on the <laughs> that, he's on the, the sideline. You got a guy on the scout team. He's on the sideline playing video games. Like crypto, get in the damn game. He just has no idea that the game's even yeah. going on. Uh, he, okay, he, coach. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> am I on offense or defense? Uh, exactly, Brian. Your team, my team. Quarterback Bangalore, running back Wraith, wide receiver Valk, wide receiver two Mirage. Tight end, Watson. Defense is Seer. 
I actually I, think the the weakest part of your game is not your defense. It's, it's your quarterback. End. Quarterback? See, I don't I'm, like your quarterback position. Dude, I'm not trying to run an offense that goes deep every time. Okay. I want to nickel and dime you to death. I'm not expecting Bangalore to be able to throw a 30, 40 yard bomb. No. I'm oh. expecting her to throw a 10 yard pass to a mirage that has scattered 20 ways and the defender doesn't know which one is him mm -hmm. or throw it up in the air with a Valk where she's the only person that has a chance to get it. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting her to make tough throws. I am expecting her to evade some tackles. Well, also, uh, Brian drafted literally the only running quarterback. Yeah, I was going to say you're going to have to adopt some like Baltimore Ravens and offense, that's what which I'm is fine. That's what I'm trying to do. So yeah. Baltimore Ravens offense here. I'm expecting Wraith to just be a lights out best running back in the league on this i think that no other running back that is on this board has a chance to beat wraith for the amount of touchdowns and the amount of uh rushing yards yeah i just want to say that i have the shutdown defense who do you have revenant revenant well except against wraith but yeah well you can cancel abilities so yeah that's fine. Then Revenant's keeps definitely. Fuck you. I run the yeah, option. I, like, I, I like, run the exactly. fucking option. Fuck Revenant's you. definitely going to be the guy Revenant's on your team though that asks for way more money and eventually walks and you can't pay him and then he just signs a contract with some shit team, just makes shitload of money. He's a mercenary. That's what he does. That's, that's so true. maybe you have him but throughout I, his rookie I, I contract. Would least, maybe. I win at least two championships. I mean, yeah, but we're, we're not talking real football here. I know. We're talking I just fantasy. Wanted, I just want to shit on. I um, mean, listen. <laughs> as far as fantasy status goes. Sure, Revenant's going to get a bunch of uh, tackles and shit, and they might not have many yards against them. Yeah. Scores are going to happen. Too much talent. It's just the way it works. Yeah. Yep. So they're going to, Revenant would lose points that way. And you know what? I don't expect Revenant to be a ball hawk. Not no. going to get a lot of turnovers. Not going to get a lot of upside there. But we're going to get a lot of lot of stops. Run game. Yeah, but that run stops stopper, don't get your points. Run stopper. Pass? Question mark. Yeah. Kyle's, all, I mean, Brian's all, fucked. Yeah, all I know like, is <laughs> I have the most well-rounded team out of all. Of no, what? No way. Well no. no way. Bro, no. Bro, your tight end is Watson. Your tight Get end is Watson, Brian. Here, Brian. Listen, your running back's fucking Watson's lifeline. Watson's diet, why, Watson's diet is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and green tea. She ain't blocking <laughs> shit. She's getting run over every single time. I think, honestly, our teams are pretty even across the board because we all have one gigantic weakness. Yeah. Mine's oh, clearly massive. running back. Mine's my wife. Brian's... <laughs> <laughs> Brian's tight end and Kyle's Kyle. What was your uh, my one wide receiver? Yeah, your one wide receiver. Yeah, I have that, one wide receiver that's like the oh, best, and then dude. I have one you, wide receiver. B, that's you almost have two. Shit. You almost have two decent holes in your team. What? Loba's pretty bad. Loba has a movement ability though. At yeah, least. it doesn't work half the time. If she catches a slant <laughs> and then just tosses it. And then she goes back to where she caught the slant. Yeah, but let's say 50% of the time it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then 50% of the time you're getting more yards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, just I needed, guess she could throw over five feet. I just needed to work two out of the four plays. Two out of the four downs. That's all I need. If she can get it That's two right. out of the four downs, there we go. Loba, and then Pathfinder's Loba's, way down the field anyway. Loba's the greatest at a flea flicker. Yeah. Because she doesn't actually go past the line of scrimmage. Also, her spin zone ass is a distraction. That's, I mean. Hypnotizing defenders on the field. <laughs> Uh, Ray's energy question of the week is brought to you by repsports.com. Use code banner for 15% off all Ray's energy products. B A N N E R banner code banner Ray's energy. Get yourself some Ray's energy. Tastes fucking good. Everything's really good about Ray's energy. Hell yeah. Ex especially those new flavors that are coming out. There's some I, good I ones. I haven't seen the new flavors, but uh, there's like a South beach. There's, Ooh. I've been saying that for months, but there's a newer one that I just don't remember I forgot right now, what it is called, but it's but. okay. Cause Ray's energy, you can use code banner, get 15% off. And so it's good. go do it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to head into our next uh, topic of discussion. How long could you play apex before giving up consecutively? Just like our man, it's Timmy. We're going to hit a quick ad, and we will see you guys on the other side. All right. Here we are. Discussion time. Now, what starts this discussion is obviously one of the craziest things that's ever happened in Apex Legends history. It's Timmy, the streamer, content creator, Apex content creator, streamed for 54 hours and 30 minutes, ranked solo queuing to go from bronze all the way to Apex Predator, and he fucking did it. And it took him 54 hours and 30 minutes. Which is an incredible feat. That is probably one of the craziest things I've ever heard. I, I don't think I've stayed awake for even 24 hours in a row, let alone 54 and 30 minutes. On top of that, you're playing with bums through all the lobbies of Apex Predator. I don't know what if a you, feat. I don't know if you watched it at all, but there was like 
many, many, many games where he was just by himself. For many like, games. For like a whole entire game. And there was a I – w- I think I tuned in at hour 50, and at one point he was like, guys, I can't do this. This isn't sustainable. Like I'm, I'm so tired. I can barely aim. Like every time I'm aiming down the sights, I think I'm going to just fall asleep. I can't do this. And then I was like, okay, he's going to give up. I turned it off. Two hours later, I go back. He's still going. He's still going after it. And shout out to the streamers, too, who, like, saw him in the lobby and turned away so that they wouldn't kill him in his moment of need because that dude was struggling so hard, but he finally got it. And I'm going to be honest with you. At hour 54, he was still playing better Apex than I have ever played. So congrats to Timmy. Respect to Timmy. That's badass. That's probably one of the biggest accomplishments in this game so far. Listen, dude, I'd blow my fucking brain out if I had to do that for 50, how many hours? 54, 54 and hours. 30 minutes. Straight. Bro, fuck me. Hell no. Mm-hmm. I can't do that shit. Timmy, I give you fucking props on that. It's not just that. It's like Timmy doesn't even rage. I couldn't have even lasted like 10 minutes not raging. Dude, dude I would days. have yelled like at two, those That's like two and a half fucking days. That's literally insane, which begs the question one more time. Timmy, you're badass. Uh, that, but that begs the question. How long do you think that you guys could wait, wait? Wait, hold on a second. There's there's somebody at the table right now. There's I mean there's somebody on my left right a now. A new challenger there's approaches. A new, a new challenger is sitting at this oh, grab shit. my banner table right now. Ooh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, could who it is be? That? Who is it? Could it be? It's the motherfucking Schmozzy. Schmozzy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, it's been about, a long time coming. Yeah, I don't want to say about time, but yeah. Well, you. You've been on other Grab My Banner shows. Debatable, but yeah. <laughs> you you want to claim those? So, Schmozzy, welcome Maybe. to Grab My Banner. <laughs> we uh, we're, we love having you on. We appreciate you being on here today. We also want to say happy birthday to happy Legend Schmozzy at this Schmozzy. table. Guys. It's like a perfect birthday present. He gets to hop on the show with the boys. It's a great day. Boys. It's a great here day. So, Schmozzy, uh, we, we got to do the same thing we did with the good old super producer here. We got to ask. Give us uh, the rundown on who you are, for people who don't know. Hello, everyone. It's me, the head mod, or the uh, some people's favorite host, who isn't the hostess with the mostess. Yeah. Um, I might go by as an absolute dump truck truck of it of an ass. Yeah. I would say probably one of the best asses in the community. I mean, that's in our community. It's, yeah. I'll I'll even this. in even in Apex Legends. Okay. Like who who's number one on it's, in it's your definitely maybe Loba. Loba. It's, it's Loba. Kind of yeah. Or I could challenge Loba easily. Damn. That's that's quite a feat. I'm not gonna lie to you, Carter. When you were walking in, I was like, "Look at that ass!" But I didn't I, say it out yeah. loud. Well, I, I wear was five thinking, inch shorts. Damn that dump truck, bro! There was a dump yeah. truck. Five inch shorts really shows it off. Yeah. Make yeah. it nice and tight. Tournament. Well, Schmozzy, yeah. we're glad to have you here at the table with us. It's it's an awesome feeling to have you here. You've been a part of the Discord for a long time. Been a part of the show behind the scenes for a long time. So, yes, sir. welcome to the show. His first show ever. Now, you had you said you had some thoughts here. Let's ask the question one more time. How long, how many hours in a row do you think you could play Apex Legends before you completely just either fell asleep or gave up? See, this is interesting because I have actually recently followed Timmy. I was going to text you, hey, I found this cool like Apex guy. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't realize like he's actually like kind of popular in the community. Yeah. So my bad. <laughs> um, but I can, I can probably compare this to I once played back-to-back 18 hours of Halo. Holy for a shit. tournament and that was that was brutal you mean 18 hours and 18 then you slept? hours 18 hours on saturday 18 hours on sunday how Holy much hours of sleep did you get uh um, I, I woke up at six and i went to bed at one so was that five five hours five, five hours. hours okay so so like a mid like a midtime break yeah like it, it, yeah break. it was bad i got in my last game i got i got shit on i shit got on. fucked i think i think i got ninja'd and that was like that was like a forty forty Slayer game and not a, not a good look not a no, good look no, not a good look. I also was dead asleep yeah but for Apex I think right now like season see season uh, ten I could maybe last fifteen minutes I mean obviously I'm over exaggerating fifteen minutes I could probably do like two hours two hours say, we're not talking about your sex life here. Gosh, damn it, Brian. If I ever lasted 15 minutes, I would text you guys. I would call you. Oh, okay? Honestly, let you know. hey, and then let me know the secret. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, that would be hey, thank you. Yeah. I honestly think I can play an hour on each character. 
Okay. That would get you through something. Yeah, that's 16 that hours. Honestly, um, back when I had no life and I didn't have like things to do, if I could just sit down and play video games, I could probably play for like probably a day or maybe a day and a half straight. So, but Apex Legends, not video games. Apex Legends. I could probably play for a day or a day and a half straight. Okay. If so it was saying seen- 24 to what 32 hours or no 32 36 hours yeah all i need is caffeine and a lot of water if i if it was season seven i think i could go for no maybe not season seven because they didn't have arenas yet if it was season eight i could probably go for 30 hours i think i could go 30 but currently not current currently i i would just get frustrated dude i would probably just go like five to seven realistically five to seven hours Okay, so I think I could probably... Are we talking about me playing Apex Legends, how long I could play it and enjoy it? No, it's just or how, just play how it. long just how you long, go without. Just how long, long could you go? go. You're Listen, queuing up. If we're talking just how long I can go, I could probably put in a solid 18 hours. Now I get to... Obviously, I'd need to like get a snack or some shit in between, but I'd still be playing. Like I'd do that while the lobby's loading anyway. Yeah. Got fucking 10 hours on that shit. Yeah. Um, but to be able to enjoy it, Oh, dude, I'd last like maybe an hour and a half yeah. without wanting to blow my brains out. <laughs> like, <laughs> Especially this season, dude. I, it, like, I actually just, don't think so, this season's terrible. It's well, not. No, it's, it's just the legend. It's That's not, it. For me, it's not even as much as the legend at this point as it is the Prowler and the fucking L-Star. The L-Star is... Oh, dude, the, the L-Star literally smokes your ass in... Everything. Everything. Because I, I don't know how much you guys play in arenas, but that's pretty much dude, all I play. Yeah. I was getting smoked, like, cross Like, map. sniped. Yeah. I was getting sniped for, like, shields. I got an L-Star. I got like, sniped by a Gibby today while I was grinding to get to gold two, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> he was. Why is that two. a funny statement? He's got a full tier. He's hey. got a full tier. We, we told yeah, him, I'm a full tier, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we told him he got out of the Play-Doh lobbies. And now I he's got in out the of Legos. the fucking he's Play-Doh Le- lobbies. I'm in, in Legos, baby. He's in Lego Land, baby. Oh, I'm in Lego no. Land. Wait, wait, hold on. Should we do our first ever punk ass on the show? Is it time to do our first ever punk ass on the L Star? Are, are, are we on the L Star? Do are, we all? What's is that the most punk ass thing in this entire listen, game? I wanna, is it time? Let me should we hit right. should we hit the button? Hit the button. It's fucking button time, punk ass. That shit is punk ass. Don't be a punk ass. Don't be a punk ass. Season 10 L-Star. Is it punk ass? Yes. Yes. The fact that it is an LMG that can snipe across the map like that is literally insane. You could be like, okay, well, the Spitfire does that too. Okay, well, the Rampage does that too. For whatever reason, the L-Star just shoots in a straight line right now. And I don't understand what is going on. It's so fast too. And the fire rate. It's not even that. Like, they never fucking have to reload. They just have to tap the trigger one fucking time, and they'll never have to reload. They that can, shit is insane. They can miss, like, the first 15 bullets and still be able to pull down and just yeah, roast they have your a shield. fucking 200-man clip. It's fucking ridiculous. So we all agree. It's clip. punk ass. We all agree? Schmoz? I, Schmoz? Is, it <laughs> is it punk ass? Schmoz? Is it punk ass? Is it punk ass? I'm, I'm an L-Star first round guy. Oh, As a no. recent. No. As no. a Schmoz recent. Is a punk hold, no. On. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can, no. we, can we hit the button on Schmoz? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> is Schmoz a punk ass? Hit the button. Hit the button. That shit is. Punk ass. Schmoz, what the fuck are you doing, Schmoz, dude? You can't I be telling me you're buying hate, the else. I hate wingman. Uh, that I play makes against sense. PC people on a console. That you actually, gotta give me something. I, we, that I play PC lobbies, sense. but I play with a controller, like on uh, PC. That's well, the same thing. I, I, I have less. I do than hate you do. the wingman. I don't need aim assist. That's but you thing. have PC or you have a console. I have less you frames. Have... I can't. What's your frames? What's your frames? It's ba- it's like it might be like it's under sixty. It's max. Mine ranges around sixty. I was wrong. I didn't hear punk ass for I didn't, my monitor's <laughs> not. It's my monitor. <laughs> okay, I was like, shit. That makes sense. I, yeah. have a, I have a good monitor. It's just not. 
144. Eight, 144. Not, but to be fair, I on, I really only do it because the other team runs here and I never run here. Okay. So, so it's just trade me, out. it's just me being annoyed about the game. Okay. Are we saying that L Star is punk ass yes or no? Yes. We already confirmed yeah. yes. that. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. We're, we're, is punk ass the new workhorse? I'm, no. I'm not an L uh, I'll never run an L Star ever again. Okay, there we go. There punk we go. ass, you say yes. Say I. Everybody say I if you agree that L Star is punk ass. I. 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 There we go. I. L Star, punk ass, first one. Let's bang the gavel. All right. That should just about do it for the discussion topic of the show. We're going to head into the main topic of seer nerfs, possible seer nerfs that we think would make the legend at least not this crazy overpowered. We're going to hit a quick ad and we will see you guys on the other side. All right. Here we go. Seer nerfs. Now, Josh Medina, Apex Dev, said that the seer nerf was going to be happening this week. Got my hopes up. Got me feeling good. I woke up with a jolt in my step. I was feeling happy, feeling good. And then nothing came. In fact, the Bangalore edition dropped, uh, which was confusing to me because it doesn't make sense to bring out a Bangalore edition when you can't play Bangalore when Seer is this strong. So here we are, boys, talking about Seer, possible Seer nerfs, or what we think that we would nerf Seer to make him balanced i, I also say. want you to know that the bangalore edition dropped and you can't even buy it oh really yeah Seriously? it's it said oh, that EA's there's no gonna, price available and you can't buy it right yeah he's gonna be that is pissed. so apex legends that i can't <laughs> even describe it anyway <laughs> seer nerfs now obviously there's a lot on his kit that just is crazy i mean you look at his passive compared to path Pi- Pathfinder's passive, it's not even comparable. Even even Watson's. Even Watson's, something like, like that. It's a fucking joke. We have lots of options here, boys, so let's go around the table and talk about what we think we need to do to get Seer back down to earth. We'll start with Brian. Can I just start out that the I'm drinking because Seer did not get a nerf today. That's, that, that's what's caused me to drink at this I, point in time. Yeah, I feel that. Also, okay. shout out cheers to, to that. Hey, yeah. cheers oh, to yeah. that. Hey, cheers to that. Sh- Cheers. 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 To Cheers. That. Cheers. Cheers. To that. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Shout out to Schmoz for drinking a lime white claw. Hey, yeah. Shout out to Schmoz actually for coming prepared. He like brought a backpack full of beer and I was like, <laughs> he, I was, like he just was, like, it was like, it was like, it was the best way. Brought a mini backpack. It was like a yeah, mini you bag. brought a mini backpack. Just, just like, it's like beers. a saddle. And yeah. it's like loaded. <laughs> like he was like, he was like, what should I drink next? I got a white claw and a Modelo. And I was like, bro, it's what Modelo the Negro fuck? Too. Oh, it's Modelo Negro. Oh, Let's dude. go. That means black in Espanol. Yes, it does. Negra. Yes, it does. Negra. Yep. Negra. Fucking, actually, a really good beer. That is. That's yeah. a really good beer. That one is solid as fuck. It's, it's very good. good. It's very Honestly, good. Honestly. All right, Brian. Seer yeah. nerfs. There's lots of possibilities here. Where would you attack and where would you leave normal? I immediately want to go and I want to attack the passive. I want to attack the tactical. Mm-hmm. Passive needs to be an actual heartbeat sensor. It doesn't need to be consistent. It needs to have... Delay. T- delay between the update on it. Uh, the tactical, and it doesn't need to light up orange when you're directly fucking on it, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the tactical needs to not do damage, not stun, not be a fucking flashbang. Mm-hmm. Because that shit is just horrible mid-fight when you're trying to deal with it. It's one thing that they give away your health, your position, cancel your heals, cancel your res. I don't think they're going to neuter him to the point of taking all that stuff away. That stuff's probably going to stick around, but they need to get rid of the flash. They need to get rid of the stun, and there's absolutely no reason that that needs to do damage. I also noticed that if you get hit with it for two seconds, I don't believe you can use abilities, which I didn't know was a thing at first. Because you're stunned. But Yeah, but you're stunned, and you cannot use abilities for two seconds. Mm -hmm. Like That is over the top. Like I don't understand how you give somebody that much on a tactical. And that's what I'm saying. You need to, that's ultimate status play. Mm -hmm. Like that has, if you're going to give all that to something, it needs to mean ultimate on arguably one of the longest cooldowns in the game. Um, It does not need, I'm fine with the ultimate the way it is. It's annoying. Does anyone here feel like the ultimate needs to get nerfed? I don't, I don't, I don't think the ultimate ultimate needs to be nerfed. Yeah. I don't know. The ultimate is whatever. Uh, because Perfect. other ultimates are much stronger than that. But, I mean, the ultimate, yeah, I don't, it's I don't, easy to shoot. It's, it, it you gives can a get lot out of, of it. it. I think it's kind of easy to play around, too. And it gives yeah. a lot of information to the, to the team, but it also, like you said, it's able to be destroyed. And I don't think it's any more information in 
the immediate moment than a bloodhound scan is the way i look at it is if you're in the final circle of an algs finals match and they drop that ultimate is it really going to be that much more useful than a caustic ult than a gibraltar ult i don't really no. think so no so in those that's small, why I tight circles it. it's not that bad and i've always said this about the scan legends I'm out excluding the small details most of what they do can be picked up by a player with good game sense. Yeah. I will say I that. agree. I agree. Kyle. I don't really uh I don't think that the heartbeat sensor is necessarily like the biggest issue of all time. Um I think that it kind of like Brian said that it shouldn't show orange when you're aiming right on somebody, but I feel like it kind of has to because you have to be able to aim the tactical through the wall. So I mean even though it's the size of a fucking subway tunnel and you could just like shoot that thing off and hope you hit something. What do you mean? It's supposed to be a sniper shot. Yeah, yeah. fuck those guys. They have a couple of options in terms of, of what they could do with it. I think they should lower down the amount of time that they can see you through the wall. And then I also think that they shouldn't show the health bar. If it's going to cancel heals and shit like that, because I don't think they're going to take that away from them, they either have to take away the fact that it cancels heals or they have to take away the fact that you can see the health bar. Because when you're about to pop a Phoenix kit, nothing feels worse than you're about to get that thing off and somebody shoots you with a Seer ability and then you have no health and they know you have no fucking health. Mm -hmm. Because then they're just going to bum rush you, you have no chance to live, and you are fucked. Mm -hmm. And there's no counter to it. Like, it shoots through Gibraltar bubbles. It shoots through just about everything in the entire game. There's not a single thing that blocks a Seer. I, I think that's what makes Seer so difficult and so annoying is that there really is zero counter to his kit. And people, I've seen people on TikTok try to come up with strategies, and they're good. I'm not going to say they're not good. But in order to cancel a Seer ult, you'd ha or even like a, a tactical ability, you'd have to use a ult from Crypto. You'd have to use like an ult from any other legend to combat it. And that's what makes it so frustrating for me is that you'd have to use an ult to counter an, a, a, tactical a tactical ability. That's what's frustrating. But I actually like what you said there because if they took away a few of those things, even if they lowered it to make the tunnel much smaller and more of a skill shot like they said it was going to be, if I get hit with that skill shot while I'm going down, yeah, it's going to be annoying. Like while I'm trying to pop a Phoenix kit, it's going to be annoying. But if that size is a lot smaller, I will be like, okay, they actually hit me with something and it's vi they were viable with it. They, they, made useful, they made use of it in the right way. So the way that I think they should do it is they should make the, the size that you, they either leave the size that it is or leave, and leave it as slow for it to go off as it is now. Or they make it drastically smaller and make it shoot out faster. It also feels like you'll be out of the, the tactical and you still get the flash. You still get hit with it. And you feel like you're out of that thing. So devs actually came out and spoke on that. and they Because there's times in videos that people post where they're clearly out of it and been hit by it. They say it's more of a latency issue than it is an actual ability issue on that one. That okay. one they've come out and spoken on and said it's probably either you or the other player and the ping rate because it is a fast ability of when it actually triggers you're not quite in there there are fresh frames on your tv your monitor whatever it is yeah so. schmoz i like what brian and kyle have said about either like lowering the tunnel or taking away stuns i actually think you keep stuns and you keep the ability to take away someone's healing ability because i just personally don't like the shield play in this game you keep that, but you take away, like, knowing the ability. I mean, knowing what the other team's, like, health bar is or where they're at. You don't even have to give them a hit scan for the their tunnel. Don't don't give them a hit scan, but give them the ability to stun them and to take away their heals. So you're essentially saying leave it the same, but remove the information that it provides. Yeah, and I don't even... I Like, you can get away with... A hit scan and you can get away without a hit scan i personally don't think you need a hit scan you should be able to know i hit a guy let's push you should be punished for thinking that you think you hit him and be punished for like not knowing the time between that because it's like it's just a legend and he's not supposed to be broken you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah there the idea before this was to make it seemed like all the devs were trying to make each legend viable before this, uh, I think that the 
him being able to see through walls and being able to <clears throat> basically provide that much information in such a short period of time is incredibly powerful. But that being said, I, it's such a fundamental part of his kit. I can't realistically see yeah. the devs changing that part of it. I could see them nerfing some of the other parts, but Sears whole, uh, persona and everything with him is about seeing into the future and seeing things that are going on i just have trouble seeing it. i think that that is the best balance for yeah, it i just I, don't see it being i also done. like being it you like compare it you have to like bring if you bring a bloodhound in now you know where people are and now you can be more specific of where you place this mm -hmm. where they are but it's like if and you have a seer why do you need a bloodhound you don't mm -hmm. you, you don't. flat out don't exactly and it would make sears ult actually a lot better in the sense, if you couldn't see with his tactical, if you couldn't see where the opposing teams are with the tactical and be provided that information, if his ultimate was able to do that and you could combo that with his tactical, he combos within himself at that point, which is, would be very strong. But I think we're all, personally, I think the most overpowered thing of his entire kit is his tactical. passive. Passive. You think I think passive. the passive is... What, why do you think, or what do you think about his passive, Schmaz? It, it should refresh. It should be on either like a three second tick or a six second tick. I don't care what it is, but a live heartbeat sensor is kind of just like it's almost just wall hacks. At why? Yeah. Why at that point? Like it's just well, yeah, it's just a. Ver just yeah. I mean, it's a different version of like knowing where your team or the enemy is. It's like mm -hmm. oh, I just pointed over there. Oh, they're over there. And like, they did a really good job at making it so easy for you to understand that. Like yeah. especially when you can have no weapon out. I think. One little fix that would do wonders is make you can only aim down sights with it if your weapon is out because you can have no weapon out and be running faster than normal and just use your hands to look through the heartbeat sensor, yeah, which is crazy to me. What's, so is there – what would your fix be for it? Okay, so that's what I was going to say. Uh, I was going to go a different direction because I really align with what Kyle had to say, but I thought of something while, while Schmoz was talking about his fixes. I honestly think if they made it to where – they left the stun, they left the flashes, and they left the the um, cancel, the cancel, and the the health bars being seen. But if they made it a smaller tunnel and they made it shoot extremely fast, so that you really couldn't dodge it, along with that heartbeat sensor, if they did that to where it was just an absolute skill shot, but it did all of those things, but it was just much smaller, it w it would. It wouldn't frustrate me as much, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I still do so, think that there needs to be like a three-second refresh rate on the heartbeat. Uh, heartbeat sensor. But if they did something like that to where it has everything like that and it shoots super quick, but it's just so small that you have to hit it in the right spot, I would really like that. So you got to like aim where they're going to be yeah. and then shoot it. Well, because what, what Shma says is like, well, why would you have a bloodhound? Well, if you do all of those things to Seer that we're saying, why would you ever need a Seer? You just go back to bloodhound. You have to find a way to keep both of those legends a toss up to where I can pick this one or I can pick that one. Right now, it's very difficult because it's almost like I only can really pick Seer because there's no reason to pick Bloodhound. If you did the changes that we just said, then we'd immediately go back to Bloodhound. But if you give some sort of balance there to where it's he still has all of that, but it's more of a skill shot and it almost does even more work, maybe you could even up the amount of time that you're seen and your health bar is seen by everybody to maybe 10 seconds if you hit that skill shot. Then you have a real conundrum on your hands when you're picking a legend that scans. You could be be like well bloodhound i don't need essentially the skill to do it but seer if i do hit it it does a lot more for my team and it does a lot more for me so basically raise the skill cap that it takes to play seer effectively and allow bloodhound to be more the entry level to the scan meta for players and at the very high end i'm assuming we would primarily we would see seer at the very highest level yeah okay i would be okay with that because for the most part, the general public is going to see less play. And in the professional lobbies, you're going to see these very high-end, very skillful shots and coordinated pushes on top of that made by SEER teams. Mm -hmm. So I would not be opposed to that per se. But there is one thing that I've seen going around in Twitter, places like that, of a balance fix to SEER, but to his uh, passive. That's not a refresh rate on the heartbeat, and I think it's worth mentioning, is put a timer on it where it's got a, a cooldown similar to how Valk's fly Okay. Is. So as you're aimed down sight, you can actually only see 
excuse me, for like a you, certain amount of seconds. You can only see for so much time, and it takes time to recharge. So picture Valk flying. As long as you're in the air flying, that little fuel Bar meter down. is going down. Mm-hmm. They did something similar with Sear where it was as you're aiming down sight, that bar goes down. When that bar is out, you have to wait for that bar to recharge for yeah. it to actually be usable again. I think that would be a good change. I think that'd be a very, like, you still keep it, everything else the same, still highly accurate, all, all that kind of stuff. But it's a quick bar. I still and you can adjust that very easily. Well, I still do think if you did that, though, you'd have to do something to nerf the tactical a little bit more, and yeah. then he would balance out. He still would need a nerf to the tactical. That is just for the passive only. I think if they did that to the passive, they could adjust that thing very easily of how strong they really want that passive to be. Because right now, that's the best passive in the game. Yeah, by far. By no far. comparison. I hate it because I fucking love Bangalore. But every time we get a new legend, every time... <laughs> Bangalore finally gets some fucking love. She gets shit on she by was, somebody else. Bro, she was in the meta for what felt like two weeks, and now she's completely out of it all Just over Just long enough for me to want to get her heirloom. They get hate her fucking Bangalore. heirloom. I got her fucking heirloom, and all of a sudden, they just fucking threw they me off. They hate Bangalore. They don't want to see Bangalore thrive. How hey, this is a Bangalore podcast. Can we agree? This is a Bangalore podcast. We want to see Bangalore thrive. Yes. And they're just fucking her up. Well, I- it's bullshit. I don't know if you guys saw Snipe Down's tweet, but I thought he had a really good point about Bangalore. He tweeted out and said, uh, Bangalore smokes should stop you from being able to be scanned in the smoke. And it should. And so like. So like an anti-scan. So smoke? it was like an Dude. anti-scan system. So you could smoke. And as long as you're uh, in the smoke, you can't be scanned. That is actually sick. You shouldn't be able to scan people through smoke period on either squad. If that's yeah, the yeah, case. yeah. Yeah. Like it. You should not be able to scan. You side. should not be able to smoke yourself and scan the other team. Yeah, no. that, but that, that is still it. that's a great idea. Actually, that's no, a great that, idea. That's what Snipedown like tweeted that out, and I was like, that is actually a really, really good, a really good counter to the meta. All right, boys. Well, I think we got some great seer nerfs. I actually think we made really good progress here. That if respawn were to ever listen to the show, which they won't, because we talk about butts too much, they would definitely learn a thing or two. And that's okay that we talk about butts. Well, I'm happy I mean, that we do it. I mean, they, somebody had to talk about butts. We didn't want to be the guys who talked about butts. Someone had to we do it. We had to do that's it. That's the dirty work. We, right we're there. doing the dirty work that nobody else will do. Somebody yep. call Mike Rowe. Dirty jobs. <laughs> <in this picture. laughs> exactly. He sits in on a podcast. <laughs> what do you guys I would do? Love that. I would, dude, I have so many questions. I for would Mike love Rowe. to sit down and just drink a beer with Mike Rowe. Exactly. Did you know he was on Broadway? Dude, he's a legend in every no, facet like of the game. He started on Broadway, he like, grew up as a pig farmer. I'm not shitting you. He grew up as a pig farmer, went to Broadway. His dad, like, barely ever talked to him because he went to Broadway. He's like, that's not a real fucking job. Wow. And then he went from Broadway and went into Dirty Jobs. And his dad's like, that's why you're trying to, okay, come back to the family. Dirty job. He went from Dirty Job to Broadway back to Dirty Jobs. Yeah, that's straight what he up. Did. And he said, none of these jobs are worse than a pig farm. He left pig farming because it was too dirty for him. That's insane that's absurd all right boys well we got some good seer nerfs out there we got some good ideas out there i think lots of great ideas for the future of seer we'll see what respawn decides to do next week unless they push it back again i don't know what these motherfuckers are gonna do they better not they better fucking not either way let's get into grab my bachelor and then we'll have gambling for the first time with schmozzy love The universal language. For some, love comes easy. Could she be the one? But for others, love doesn't come easy. Sometimes, I don't think I'll ever find love. Follow us as we take one man through his journey. I I just want to find the one. To find eternal and everlasting love. I'm just tired of being in this bed alone. There will be some highs. I like long walks on the beach. And some lows. Oh, I got a text. It's not from her, though. But in the end, we hope to find... Love. I just want a girl that completes me. Welcome to Grab My Bachelor. Alrighty, here we are. Week three of Grab My Bachelor. First time with Schmozzy on the show. The first time. And uh, we're about to let this shit marinate. We're about to let this shit go hard. 
Kyle, well, first of all, let's get give me an update on how everything has gone over the last week as far as your bachelor life. How have you been feeling? Good? Uh, good. I got hit on by a girl at Panda Express. No way. Yeah, I got hit on by a girl okay. at Panda Express. How was it? Her panda? What? Are we calling her Panda? Well, I, I haven't gone. I've gone back there a couple of times, and she hasn't been there, which is kind of sad. See? You, see? Okay. But, okay well, I, I like it, though. I like that you're going back. I would just become a back. regular. We, like, made eye contact, and I was like, damn, she's got really nice eyes. But she was wearing a mask, so I couldn't really see her face. Did so you say like, nice ass or nice I, eyes? Nice eyes. Eye. Okay, yeah, I thought you said nice eyes. ass. That's eyes. fine. Eyes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's on me. That's on me. Hand up. That's on me. That's on me. Hands up. Eyes. Okay. Anyway, continue. Tell she you, had tell really me. nice eyes. We locked eyes, and okay. then Ooh. I looked at her eyes. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. With an e. With an, yep. Eyes with an e. Eyes, eyes with, with an, an e. e. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And I, what else? Double happened? s. Yeah. What else happened? And what then, else? like, I stuttered over my words. Like many. Wait. Many did times. you? Did she approach you, or did you? I was like, well, she, she was taking my order. She was. Okay. Oh, she works there. Yeah. She's okay. Like, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey. okay. What's your order there? She's got to be nice to you. Are you getting a plate or a bowl? Are you a big man or a little boy? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? He gets getting two a bowls. He's I'm getting, getting a, plate. a fucking plate, He's baby. A plate. Oh, He's you're a plate. daddy, huh? Yeah, yeah, daddy, yes, bro. sir. Uh, yes, so sir. what do you get on your plate? I usually always get fried rice because okay. their fried rice is hard I'm a chow mein guy, but that's yeah. okay. You're a chow mein guy? I'm a chow mein guy. I'm a chow mein. Chow mein. We're all chow mein. Are you all chow mein guy? Yeah. Are we bro, all? It's the better bro, version. It is. It you, is. You just hit like the dry But you're food. different. I, but that's okay. I, I mean, we'll that's, take I'm that's different, fine. baby. That's fine. It's all right. She'll okay. see that and be like, wow, he's built, torturing himself. Built different. So she's like, wow, he's different. And she'll differentiate you from everybody else because everybody else in the world gets chow mein. You're the only loser that gets fried rice, but that's okay because you're the you're the one loser okay so anyway let's continue <laughs> let's see uh so what happened so you made eye contact so okay so like it was like nobody was in there okay it was just me oh, and it was like her intimate. and then her friend was like on break i could tell that her friend like thought i was cute and so did so did she okay. so i like walked up and like gave my order and i i was wearing a tank top so she could see my the guns she could see my guns the guns okay? were out yeah their guns were out um and then I I ask for fried rice, and then I always get teriyaki chicken, and then I always get um, fuck. Why am I blanking on what orange the chicken? Orange chicken? Wait, well, you don't no. get orange uh, chicken? Mongolian no. beef? No, I get orange. Beefy I get broccoli. teriyaki chicken, and I get uh, kung pao chicken. Kung pao. Kung, pao. kung pao's okay. good. Okay. I like the spicy. okay, so what? she she knows you're a spicy what? guy. I, I mean, dude, if you like the orange chicken from Panda wait, hold on, what? If you like the orange chicken from Panda Express, you're a basic ass bitch. I get double orange chicken. <laughs> you, That's, you, there's nothing no, wrong, Brian. Brian, Brian there is you're, nothing wrong with orange about, chicken. Listen, orange about, chicken. You're not fucking serious. <laughs> There's Every nothing wrong with orange Chinese chicken. Restaurant. Anybody at this table saying there's anything wrong with listen, orange chicken, you're wrong. I order orange chicken, but not from Panda Express. Let, let me tell you Wait, right now. On. You're telling me you get double orange chicken when there's you get your There's nothing get wrong with that. orange chicken, and then there's times where I get one orange chicken, and then the sweet and sour That That's chicken. acceptable. That, that's but the same shit. Orange, the, oh, Panda has the best orange chicken out of every other in the Chinese game. restaurant in the fucking valley. Are you kidding? No, in the game. No, I've had I've had a couple other places that do uh, it a little bit better. It's a little more it's a little different. It's a little orangier. But it's a little bit better at other places. I like breathing it in and you know how like the fumes like Oh, you, you get like, like the spice. Like the choke. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah the cancer. Your, well, I'm kind of yeah. I kind of I'm kind of big on the choking part of yeah. it. Yeah. Gosh, damn it, Schmoz <laughs> is taking the spotlight here. This what I'm fucking this <laughs> crazy. Kyle. Back to Kyle. <laughs> Back to Kyle. Kyle. Okay, so well, let's we established that getting double orange chicken there's nothing wrong with that. That's Kyle. fucking um, awful. Kyle, shut up. What's going <laughs> no, on? No, it's pretty fucking bad, Wyatt. Kyle, Kyle go let's ahead. Let's talk about this. All right. So All you right. get your kung pao chicken. She starts ringing me up and like her friends trying to like give her signals behind me, but she can't tell. What like, kind of signals was she giving? She was like, she was like telling her to like say something and kind of like trying to, she was like telling her to say something and trying to like whisper to her, uh-huh. but like I can hear her and I like turn sideways and I could see her out of the corner of my eye Ooh. and I'm like so, seeing. So what you do, continue actually. Okay. Continue. So yeah, finish, basically, finish story, yeah. So basically, like, she gives me my stuff and she goes, do you want any sauce? And then she looks up at me with those eyes like this. What color eyes? They were, like, this cool, like, hazel color. Ooh, and okay. I, was, like, I love that. Okay. Hazel's good. She, but, like, hazel's she had a good. mask on, so all I could see was her eyeballs. So, and then she made eye contact with me and I, like, froze and I was like, a, a soy sauce? <laughs> like, okay. Like, but you got like, it out. Totally, you got it out. You I, got it I out. I did. Go, but she was <laughs> like, you want... She, she, like, looked at me, and it was kind of seductive. She, oh. like, looked down, and then she looked up at me like this, and she was like, she was like, you want any sauce? And I was like... Wait, wait, do that again. That was hot. 
You want any sauce? Damn, Damn. I'm kind of turned on right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she, chubbed up over she, there. She was like looking down Excuse at the me, register, and the she restroom. looked up at me like that, and I was like, uh, d- uh, soy sauce? And she was like, uh, do you, how much, she's like, how many packets do you want? And I was like. She's trying to keep you there. And I was like, the, uh, the reply is only one with your number on it. Oh. Oh, that would have been see? a good one. Okay, that's I a good one. I was stumbling so hard. I was like, uh, d- two? And she was like, all right. Brian's correct here. Because when you're the only one in the store, a lot of a lot of uh, people will complain like this person hit on me while I was working. Yeah, they hit on you while you were working with like a full house. But when it's just one person, you have the time of day. You to have the time of talk. day to actually talk. They're not in a rush. They're not panicked or anything like that. They can actually talk to you and have a conversation. Yeah. That's your time to sit down and talk to somebody. You don't hit yeah. on somebody at work. But if it's at downtime at work where they're not doing anything. I promise you, they would rather talk to you than actually work. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Okay, finish, finish. So then she gives me my order and stuff, and I say, I was like, thank you. You have a good day. I started walking out the door, and her friend, I can hear her friend. She's like, fucking say something. <laughs> Why didn't you turn around, bro? So, so I'm like leaving. I'm about to walk out the door, and she goes, I hope you have a nice day. And Again? I, yeah. And I turned around, and I looked at her, and I smiled, and I was like, I hope you do too. And then I left. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, you, Kyle, I want you to know something. You were this close. You were this close to having a phone number. And here's why. She said it a second time. The second you say it a second, even when you hear the friend, you just turn around and say, did you guys say something? And then you walk close. You just get close. You're just like, did you guys say something? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. And immediately that gives her the confidence to be like, Give the number. Right. So, because I was nervous she, out of my fucking mind. Dude, so don't be this. nervous. She well, no, gave dude. you all the Here, advances. Here's the so great thing: true. you had somebody in there that was a friend of hers that was pulling really fucking hard for you in that moment. Yes. So I want you to know, you don't have to wait till she comes back, and she's working when you're in there. You can also do it when that friend is in there and be like, "Hey, that girl. When I came in here, we were all like, it was just me in here. That was that girl that was bringing up my order. What was her name?" Or like oh. something like that. You can you can get something like that from her friend because her friend is pitching for you. Yes, she's yes. going to bat for you. You can talk to her friend and let her friend know you're interested in the other one, but you you want to know like that way it gets back to her that you're interested. Kyle, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you something right now. What? You eat Panda Express until you're throwing up. <laughs> you eat Panda Express till you well, never want to go back there ever again. I want you to know that again. I eat Panda Express like every other day. Okay, the you keep going. Kyle, that's not healthy. I want you to go to the doctor. <laughs> no, Kyle, don't go to the doctor. It's not worth it. Okay, because you, know you know what a doctor can't fix? A broken heart. So you just keep going back well, to Panda Express. Uh, just keep surgery's going. a thing. I mean... I mean... You guys know what doctors. I mean. Come on. What? You guys know what I you mean. You know how to fix that, actually. Double... Orange chicken. So when you go back in, okay. whether it's friend or not, go in, not even trying to get a number, just go in and have a fucking good time, and then either ask her how she's been, right? Engage deeper, ask her how she's been, or ask her friend how she's been. This girl, being that interested in him on the first sight, what's going to happen is he goes and dines in. You hang out after you finish. Leave your stuff on the table. She's going to come oh. over and say... Hey, can I get that stuff for you? No, but you can get me your number. Damn. She's going to come over and check on you. That's and make like sure you're uber doing... ballsy, though. But no, she, if, no, it's not. Because no. if she comes over to, and she doesn't check on you or something like that, then you can say, hey, how you been? Like all that. Like you're resuming the conversation from before. Or if she doesn't even leave from behind because they're busy or whatever it is, you just pick up, throw your trash away. Don't even trip. Stay back. Go in. Have a good time. Make yourself more memorable. Yeah. And she's just going to, everything's just going to fall into is place. There, that. Is there a different sauce that you like from Panda Express? Like that's not soy I that they serve? I don't know another sauce. I was going to ask, is <laughs> there even <laughs> another sauce? They have, so, so listen, the hot mustard. I've been delicious. there many times. Okay, okay, I want to okay, tell okay, you, okay. There's, there's hot mustard, okay. there's soy sauce, there's teriyaki sauce, and there's hot chili sauce. Which one do you like? You like soy. I know I you like soy sauce. But I do like you get teriyaki anything else? sauce. Okay, so try, even, do you like hot mustard? No. Don't well, even. You do now. It doesn't matter because you're going up there and you're going to ask for hot mustard because you're going to be the hot mustard guy. You look all at you me in my to... fucking eyeballs. You're the hot mustard guy now, okay? <laughs> but I'm you're not going... hot mustard. Bro, it doesn't listen, matter. Listen, she's take like, it. he's the only guy who gets hot mustard in this fucking play in this fucking town, but Kyle, he's getting hot mustard. Kyle, I want you to know this. You're going to get the hot mustard. You're going to scoop out a little fucking place of your rice, eat some of it. 
and squirt that, open up the hot mustard and squirt that whole fucking shit into the corner that doesn't even touch your food. Never. Eat everything else, leave the hot mustard, and then you're you're good. It looks like you use the hot mustard the entire time. Exactly. You don't even have to use Kyle, it. Kyle. It's just something for show. touches it. I'm I'm hating you. Kyle, all Bro, you're doing listen, all you're, you're doing is making yourself memorable. Okay? Or if you're the if you're the soy sauce guy, I, yeah. dude, just compliment to make, her eyes. To make him, that's, that's, I've that's never fair. Kyle, I've never asked for someone's number in my life. <laughs> he's only <laughs> Why com- am I taking advice from he's you? He's complimented oh, I, eyes. I get everyone, you're missing the point. He's never asked. asked. He's never oh, asked okay. for that number. I, it, I is am. that because you got like nine buttons down on your shirt right now and you're just watching <laughs> it out? Is that why? Do I, I need to do that? Popping up. Am I just, have you guys, I just got to cut my fucking have t-shirt? You, have you guys ever seen that Daniel Tosh skit where he's getting a v-neck deeper? <laughs> deeper. Yep. I'm just going to cut all my t-shirts yeah, I'll, just I'll straight down the neck. Schma- okay, well, Schmaz isn't in a t-shirt, okay? He's in a button down. Yeah, he's right? in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. Hey, you know what? <laughs> With five-inch shorts. I just need to take off all nine buttons off my fucking shirt and just walk in like that. I think Carter is styling on everybody here in this room. Right? <laughs> that's, all, dude, that's a fact. Carter's that's the, a fact. the only that's one that could do a possible nipple slip right now. The rest of us are all nope. doing it. And you good. would nope. want it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm down. Low key. Will it get leaked on GMB? intel who knows <laughs> <laughs> who knows okay this has been my one of my favorites i love the panda express girl but before we leave grab my bachelor and go to gambling you also had instagram girl girl that we met at a party yes. added you today and you did the bold move of liking all of her photos the second <laughs> she followed you i didn't like all of them i only liked the, the first no bro posted. i told you like all of no, them. no no no. wait hold on kyle did you like at least the first three and she didn't two? and she didn't follow me today she followed me like four weeks ago you waited this long well i didn't oh, i didn't really shoot my shot i thought she followed no. you today that's why i told you to do that no <laughs> oh bro okay you, uh, i don't like the whole like the whole all the pictures you just go like first to it it's worked three. for me a few times you it, haven't it, you been, haven't been through what i've been through oh carter please C- carter, well kyle please, shoot it out. i want to do here is you want to like at least two or three here okay. Okay, two it or three. It doesn't have to be the first two. It can be one, three. Oh. It can be two and five. It's so not you, about, you can scroll not, so like a bit. mix yeah, up. It's not, you, you like the ones that she's the happiest in because she it brings her back into this happy stage. And okay. then now she's like, oh, he liked the ones I'm happy in. I'm happy. Him. Connect. Boom. Happy. Wow. Kyle, happy. Wow. I like that. Sm- I, look, look, I've only been broken up with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have never so, broken up with someone. So okay. I know. So I just immediately just went from like, this is you great advice. So like, this is super sad. I'm about to cry right I now. I have never asked for a number. Okay. But I've never broken up with someone. Okay. So he's. I'm about to cry for you. I, he's, yin really yang. he's yin and yang. He's sometimes good, sometimes hot, sometimes cold, sometimes yes, sometimes no. I've only broken up with people and no I have. And I've. Only like yeah yeah so. he has I've he only has. broken up well with Kyle people. how do you feel after this grab my bat this was a good one right you've learned some stuff this is, today yeah this is a really good so one. what is your plan for next week um, we I, we I asked this I'm question eating Panda Express every, you're eating fucking Panda Express <laughs> seven right. days by the way now <laughs> I would I think you could speed up the process doing double orange chicken. But you don't have to. That's just me and Schmaz's opinion. Yeah. Listen, you could. It would help you out a yeah, lot. It might Double help. Orange chicken. I think I'd be like three hundred pounds by the end. Of you the don't week. have to eat it. And right. I stand by it. The most important thing when you go in there, if when you do have an interaction with her, have fucking fun. Have some fun. If you're dude, not happy, dude, just don't try too hard. Literally, all you have to do is be yourself because you're a memorable, memorable guy to begin with. Yeah. Worst case scenario. She fucking works there. She has to be courteous to you. Exactly. She can't be mean. I mean, she can't. She also, it's Panda Express. I mean, it's not like she could spit in my food right in front of me. Right? Yeah, because exactly. you're watching it. Exactly. So you're the best Only of both the cooks worlds. can do that. Yeah. yeah. Schmoz, role play. You're the Panda Express girl. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this might not work. <laughs> This, might- this is the worst idea okay. you've ever. Dude, just do it. Just do it. Just trust me. Okay, Tr- ready, trust. Ready, ready. Trust the process. All right, all right. Can, I get a, can I get a like a, a three, two, three, right. two, one? Hey, welcome to Pan Express. How may I help you? <laughs> can I can I get a plate? <laughs> oh, with fried rice. Ooh, fried rice. That's my favorite. No one ever gets it. Yeah, I, I love it. It's it's my favorite. Oh, that's so good to know. Yeah. What about your meats? 
Get your meats, bro. Rick. I got it. Can I get double orange chicken? <laughs> oh, my God. Double orange chicken? I love that. Yes. Uh, yeah, I love double orange chicken. It's my favorite. I, I need a... I also want some hot mustard to put on my orange chicken. Wow. Ask for three. Ask three, for three. three sides of hot mustard. Wow, you read my mind. I was going to ask you about my sauce. I mean, what sauce you want. <laughs> But I guess See? I'll get you some honey mustard or hot mustard. Hot. Can I, can, can, yeah, with the hot mustard, can I get your number? Oh, that's weird because you see that on your box right now? That's my number oh and my, address. Oh my oh god, shit. it fucking worked, bro. I'm, no I'm also off at 6 p.m. Crazy. Dude, Today. it fucking worked. See? How hard See, is that? I, Listen, that, I mean, that it's was a lot sweet. easier when you're looking at schmas. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, my whoa. Ass. She does you don't not have to have go my for him like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go for him oh, like that, bro. man. Okay, Kyle, we got it though. Seriously, you're just making yourself well known. You're gonna go to Panda. You're have gonna a dine good in. Have a good time. That's what. It's That's all it. about having fun. Dude, man. Literally, like I said, it's all about go, having fun. Order your things like normal. Don't trip. Dine in. Have a good time. Enjoy your meal. If she comes up and initiates the conversation with you, you engage. Make it, just engage. Talk to her. Have a conversation with her. If she comes up next to you and doesn't engage with you but is in your vicinity, that's still her trying to talk to you more than likely. Talk to her. Engage. And if she doesn't, enjoy your and fucking just meal. enjoy your Pack meal. your shit up and get the hell and out go, back and to work. And then thank you. At least say thank you. Yeah. yeah. Say because thanks, maybe thank she you. wants you to initiate. No matter what happens, you enjoy yourself. And then you ask her, how does she feel about people who order double orange chicken? And then you get her opinion. And if she says, that I is- love them, then you already knew that because we told you. Kyle, this was a great Grab My Bachelor. That was awesome. I'm glad you shared that story with us today. Cannot wait for next week. All <laughs> right. Let's get... Uh, we're going to hit a quick ad that was a great grab my bachelor i cannot wait for people to hear that uh we're gonna hit a quick ad and get into gambling the first ever gambling experience with schmozzy on the show we're gonna hit a quick ad we'll see you guys on the other side all right here we are gambling time first time ever with schmozzy on the show now schmoz you've had i would say you've had some harsh words with everybody at this table uh, I would say that's kind of your thing. You just, by a week-to-week basis, you either like or hate us. Uh, it's never anywhere in between. It's never like, a, uh, I kind of like them. It's, I either hate you or you're cool. I mean, I went from being the best host to the worst host. In, in one week. week. In, in one, one week. week. Not even a week. Honestly, that was probably a split second decision. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it probably, was probably like a, I saw something oh, and I hated it I, and I just wanted it. What do you so attribute what, to that? So what's the verdict on me, Jello boy? <laughs> that was probably not good the way <laughs> you had not good now that you brought the Jello. Um, I, actually, as of recent, Brian, you've actually been pretty high on the list. Oh, okay. wow. wow. Everyone that's, else that's must that's be fucking no, actually, worse everyone, than me. No, actually, everyone hasn't really triggered me let's let's get your let's get your uh host rankings because you used to give these out every week on twitter you need to follow him at on twitter at gmb until i mean that's actually not him but follow gmb follow gmb someone that i know yeah it's somebody that he knows very Uh, close close affiliate yeah Yeah. let's get your rankings on the host this week uh well if i was if i was gmb intel which i i assume it's multiple people running it because of how much yeah. content they kind put of out. put out yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. pretty crazy i think yeah. they would put out as of right now brian number one i know wow. kind of crazy uh I maybe my game up. tragic <sighs> maybe kyle i think kyle actually and then sorry why i'm um, dead last i don't okay. I, it's not On you didn't me. do anything wrong you just didn't do any, i didn't do enough you didn't do enough okay, okay. which was right. it's understandable i actually think i know what it was um, I believe I texted you one day uh-huh. if you wanted to. Pl- oh no, you know what it was? I texted you if you wanted to play, and then you went to Discord and you were like, "Oh, Carter never wants to play with me." And I'm like, "I told you I was driving home, and now you're trying to make a big deal out of it." Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So you okay. didn't do. I, there's no hate right now for no this hate. week. Okay, we're good. It's mostly like everyone's tied for first. Okay, it's basically balls in your court. Try and make me pissed off. All right, there we go. Well, Carter, let's take a quick look at the lines here this week because we all – actually, you know what? Before we take a look at the lines, let's take a look at our records. There really isn't much to say because all of us here at the table went 100% on our bets. Me, 
Kyle, Brian. Carter's, I just made... Carter's basically. Oh wait, he's at the table. Hold oh on. yeah, wait. Carter's at the oh, table. Fuck. Wait, guys, it's me. Carter didn't. Carter didn't go on. Oh, did I gamble? You did. Yeah, you did actually. I did. did. We have you it on did. record. You did gamble. There's, there's uh, was that did. was that me though? Was there was there? We well, have your does, visual it proof. Does say we have here, your schmozzy. And then you have to be able to sign in with your email. Yeah. So you either need to update and like someone's hacked your email. Are, are you saying somebody hacked into your thing? Or? What? Are you saying somebody? I did, did get an email from Google saying hey, there's an emergency there, alert. There might have been someone who tried to sign on to. It, it, they try to sign on from an area from Vancouver, Sounds Canada. Odd. Which oh, you know what? Actually, big man Vancouver. Rain. Yeah, that that could be rain. That could be rain. Actually. That that yeah. mm-hmm. if it, well, that, that would make sense. That, that would actually make that. sense because rain went four and nine on your account for a uh, win percentage of point four four. Rain actually did better hey. on his account. Yeah, wow. rain did better on his account. You know that's so weird. I don't. That's you know weird. how how dare rain? Do I, that's that to ridiculous me. Oh, that he would it, do it's that. It's almost as if Schmaz actually did it and is trying to blame rain. I that that no, did cross that, my mind at mm, one point. That seems like too much work. Yeah, that w- yeah maybe. Uh, uh, I don't I don't listen, know. What I don't I know do if that? Schmoz is that evil? You know what I mean. I, to, yeah, but to avoid you know. the heat of being second to last in the entire GMB community and dead last oh. here at this table. Oh. oh wait, would that make? How would that make me dead last at well, the table? Because all of us here at hundred percent. We all hit hundred percent. I was not we a part all. of that gambling session oh okay oh really so now it's a clean slate we all bet on the same thing it's on your record I actually think Rain might have been drunk at the time Uh oh you and so Rain is in I remember Mm. So he has a problem. Yeah, he has a problem. <laughs> it was about three a.m. and, and I, I believe Jay Z was like, "You better make your bets." And I think Rain was like, "Oh shit, I don't know anything about what's going on right now." And he just clicked some random boxes. Okay. So uh, okay, well then let's let's just say there's a clean slate here at this thank table. You. Yeah. But he, um, he wasn't here last week. Uh, you know, I, I he don't did terrible. But the record won't show own. that. Yeah. The, at the end of the day, I mean, we always have we that all, in our back pocket. We all know what we, we all yeah, know. We happens. always have yeah. that in our back pocket. We all, so we, all know. we are all at a hundred percent. Whoever hacked into Schmozzi's account, whether it was hacked or not, Shame is please at point give four four percent. Went yeah. four for nine out of their bets. Please give my account back. Thank yeah. you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank it, you. Because you allegedly, Thank you. Stole. allegedly, yes. <laughs> allegedly. So this week we are adding a new bet, and we are taking away a bet that nobody really bet oh. on. And we're adding a new one called Total Offense. So, like we always do, we're betting on kills, assists, knocks, rounds won. But instead of rounds played, we are switching that stat out with Total Offense. And then we'll round it out with wins and perfect games. Now, what is Total Offense, you ask? Well, Total Offense is a combination of three things. Your kills, your assists, and your knocks. Okay? So, for instance, last week, Kyle... Had a good amount of kills, he had a good amount of assists, and he got a good amount of knocks. That all together rounded up to 91. He had 91 kills, knocks, and assists all put together. So that stat basically tells the story of Kyle was offensively gifted last week. I had 85, Brian had 65. So the way that stat is going to work, it's going to be a lot easier to bet on than rounds played because nobody really cares how many rounds you played, and it's pretty consistent across the board. So now total offense will take that place. I also want to take some time to shout out everybody who bet last week in the GMB community and had their bets out there. Lots of great bettors out there. We had one guy, Pexel, Pexel Flexel, new boxer. He was 12 for 18. Dude. Best record on, out of I, that I saw. Now he wasn't the best record, like in percentage in the thing, wise. percentage wise, because there was one guy I think who was five for six. But Which going is twelve for eighteen, five for six is incredible. Five for well. six is Thank really you, yes. good. But that's not it was you. not you. It that's was not you. far no, from not, you. Not, not pretty, it was so you were far second from to you. last. You were second to dead last. But Pexel Flexel, twelve for eighteen. That's a great percentage for uh, a brand new gambler. So appreciate all of you guys for joining the gambling. It's going to be so fun. But we have a new stat, total offense. Okay, so we're going to get into the lines here. Start off with me. Total kills at 38, halves at 19. Total assists at 17, halves at 9. Total knocks at 42, halves at 21. Total rounds won at 26, halves at 13. Total offense, combination of kills, assists, and knocks at 97, halves at 49. Total wins at six, halves at three, and total perfect games, 1.5, halves at one. We move on to Kyle. Total kills at 39, halves at 20. Total assists at 15, halves at eight. Total knocks at 44, halves at 22. Total rounds one at 26, halves at 13. 
Total offense, 98 halves at 49. And total wins at 7, halves at 4. Perfect games, halves at 2. I mean, uh, total at 2.5, halves at 1.5. We move on to Schmaz. To be determined next week. We'll see what sh- we'll see what stats he puts up. We, we need some stats we to be able to stats. base off of first because we've learned that it's a shit show when we don't do it, that. Yep, it is. Uh, we move on to Brian. Total kills at twenty three, halves at twelve. Total assists at twenty six, halves at thirteen. Total knocks at twenty five, halves at thirteen. Total rounds one at twenty seven, halves at fourteen. Total offense at seventy four. Halves at 37, total wins at 7, halves at 4, and total perfect games at 2.5, halves at 1.5. Now, we've got a kill line for me that is low, but as history has shown this season, I have not done very well. But we also have total offense lines on Brian. Brian's total offense last week was 65. This week it is 74. Is that an under? Is it a lock in under? I'm going to tell you it's not a lock under. Um, You are... My, my let kill, the record show that you are Brian. Let, let the record about. also show that I only had 19 kills last week. Okay. My average for kills is much higher than that. And when my kill average goes up, my knocks will go up as well. So you're so not going to play with me this I'm week? I'm not playing with your fucking ass for the next three weeks, bitch. <laughs> Understandable. Schmoz. What's up? We've never played together, buddy. Uh... Here's a here's I, I could I go for some free to, kills. It's just it's free kills is one thing. Um, I don't know if Listen. the current ranking system will allow us to play together. Well, you it guys does. could always play. We're not casual. playing. We're, we're not going to play ranked. We play casual for it. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty. Yeah, of there's yeah. You I don't think I don't think, I don't think the current casual setting. Well, I'm fucking with you. I don't want to play with your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What was your what's what's your current Arena rank right now? Uh, it's only gold four. Uh, I haven't played since uh, yeah, I played. Yeah, me, t- me, t- me too, guys. I haven't played in forever. Uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. played diamond. Since I, I, I haven't yeah. played diamond forever. Diamond. Yeah. Anyway, uh, forever yeah, diamond. Wait, you're really diamond? Yeah, he's been hard fucking. Are you hard grinding. stuck diamond? No, he's been hard grinding diamond for the past fucking since the game came out. No. Yeah. Sorry, I've only been diamond. Guys, it's yeah. okay. That it's hard being diamond. It's, it's hard like, they say coming diamonds. into season say diamond nine is. and then being diamond. Diamonds are one of the hardest substances on yeah. planet Earth. I know. I'm Harder than me at times, which what? is <laughs> crazy. crazy. Just I absolutely crazy. Crazy. This is the dude that showed up with three fucking beers. Hold on. Exactly. I, for betting, I actually made notes. Oh, you made oh. Oh, let me see he the notes. He came prepared. <laughs> let me see this these dude notes. came so fucking prepared. I want to read these notes. Why? Low, icy, low key. No, I thought it said low, icy. <laughs> low key, good, but is not a spike Wait, player. Oh, I need okay. to see this really fast. Well, let me, let me let me read them off real quick. Kyle, should eat because he is in bronze or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, ass, LOL, but like bets unders because mind games. Extra, why it won't hit when confident. Kyle is literally in bronze. Brian, main question mark? What's your main, Brian? My main? Yeah. Well, it was Bangalore until the fucking Til Seer meta showed up. Okay. But uh, it's been Pathfinder. I play the best currently as a Pathfinder. So that means you probably can't play together. That's- yeah. Honestly, every time you took Pathfinder, my games just plummeted. Mm-hmm. Um, and every time I didn't play Pathfinder, my games plummeted. Yeah. So you and me probably won't play together for our games because we play the same legend. Mm-hmm. Um, but lately, honestly, if I haven't been playing Pathfinder or Bang... I've either been playing Horizon or Mirage. Okay. So as long as I learn, if I'm playing a legend that I have fun with, I play way better. Okay. All right. Uh, Kyle, kills at 39. It's going to be a tough week. But Knox. I could get 44. Okay. I'll trust you on that. I'll trust you on that. Brian yeah. wins seven. Seven? I would say that's about right. I honestly would almost, if we could bet a push, I would almost bet a push. You have a better bet of betting under on my second half wins. Okay. Why, that that listen, might be a solid bet. If you don't get six wins this week, I was gonna you're say, a punk-ass bitch. I know. I was going to say, Did I think hit? I can get six I don't six know. Wins. I don't think we hit him with a button for that. No. For next week. No, if he no. doesn't hit that, I don't think we hit a button. I'm him. hitting him with a button next week if he doesn't hit six wins this week. We might have to. If and you, I'm the one who hits the button. And it would be hard for me to do, but I will hit the button. You should oh, hit the I, button. I, I'm betting on it. Listen, I, you're I'm betting, betting on it. Okay, I'm betting on, I'm it, betting on it too. So okay. if you don't Who, hit it this week, you're a punk ass. Who are you uh, playing with? You. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm betting on we it. We always we always <laughs> win. What are you talking about? 
We never not. We we do not lose. I guarantee. Kyle, I guarantee wait. you, we so win our, out of twelve games. I guarantee you, eleven. Okay. All right. There we go. Over. Uh, Brian. Yeah. That was a lot of assists, even for you. Twenty six. I don't think it's going to be a lot. He tied twenty five this week. Uh, I don't think it's going to. I'm telling you right now. You're in not this, playing with me though. No, no. In this meta. I don't think it's going to be a lot because I have a cheat code for assist this meta if I ever need to pull it out of my ass. But Total offense, 74. Last week was 65. You're saying that the kills, listen, you think you're going to get nine more if kills? You, if you think, no, I don't need to. I need to get five more kills because if I get five more kills, I'm at least getting five more knocks. Okay. So these numbers are, are relatively tied. You've Unless I'm getting me. final kills, but you guys know me with final kills. So... If you're if you're hitting if you're thinking my kills are going to go up at least three to five kills, okay. you could assume that the total for uh, offense is going to go up. Wyatt. Yep. One point five perfect games. So I got to get two. You think now you in pubs, it's a little different because if I'm playing with Schmaz, it's going to be diamond slash. Platinum players. I'm slash plat four, predators. Slash predators. Slash. You never know. Above. Now, the, you know what's funny? When me and Carter play in actual ranked, we will get three O's all the time. But when we play pubs. We will get three O'd. We will get three O'd. Yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a weird dynamic. I would honestly stay. If you're looking for just wins, no risk, I would say you stay away from the perfect game stat always. And you go more for the wins. Six wins in 12 games. For a push. Yeah. Even for a push, you could push like, that. And, but I think uh, I'm going to get seven. Yeah. How do you feel about your total offense? That's a that's high. Because this week it was 85. But you had a shit week. But honestly, I had dude, a shit like, week. you had a shit week. I if did you have find a, a way. week, you will, you'll be over 100. I did Easy. find a way to counter the, uh, the L-Star. But um, I am playing with Carter. Uh, yeah, and I am the counter to an L star because I am. He uses L-star. the L star. Yeah, because I thought you said you were never. Oh yeah, no, 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 wait, yeah. He said he's never going to. I don't beat. play L star. You have to verify man. that he he's up. not allowed yeah. to pick up an L star. If okay. he picks up an L star, I'll watch he's him. A, wait, you said I couldn't buy an L star. No, you, you said need, you can't pick it up. You can't use an L star, and you said I will not pick up an L star from this moment. Don't do it. Yep. So we don't need your words. So listen, if Wyatt comes back next week and says that you bought or picked up an L star this week. I want to let you know, you're the new workhorse. Yeah, he might have to you're, be. You're, you're, you're getting automatically Kyle, inducted into it. Kyle, 15 assists. I mean. <laughs> Who are you playing with? I, I guess I'm playing with nobody, baby. I'm solo Q, man. You're not so playing with Wyatt, though. That's not low. for Kyle. He could play with me and Carter. I just don't. You could, you could play with the two of them. I mean, honestly, you might get a lot of assists with those two. It's Good. not even that, That could though. throw the lines out of whack. The the. Carter gets because, a lot of first bloods. Who, yeah, who are you playing with? What do you mean? He's Who's been playing your Horizon. Oh, you're Horizon. Oh mate? no, I've been playing. I've been jumping around. I. You should play Octane or Bloodhound. I play. I, I play Octane Bloodhound. Bloodhound. I play Horizon. I play Octane, and I play uh, Revenant. Is Oasis because still in the rotation, or did they no, take? No, they, they took it out. Thank there goes goodness. our map. There goes our fucking map. Bro. Fuck that map. I'm because I you don't know map. the strat. Yeah. I, I, Yo, you bro, tried you to show, tried us to that show us the strat. We won. We won. I have never lost on that map. What did I tell you? Never played an actual Apex. I, I haven't played Apex at a lower tier yet. <laughs> I have played Apex, though. Sheesh. But as an Octane player, I can honestly tell you I do have a lot of assists, but, like, decent numbers, like, okay. kill-wise, just because I can get, like, hella Are damage. you an Octane player? Is that, is that your main? I'm an, I've been maining Octane, but sometimes Wyatt makes me go on Gibby. Because, because I, he's a nasty Gibraltar, but he just doesn't want to play him. He I just, just I hate, him. I hate being slow. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's so Brian, insane. Twenty-three it's kills, twenty-three kills. I think I can hit twenty-three kills. All right, you convinced me. If you fuck me up, I'm gonna hate you forever. But I already kind of hate you, but that's okay. <laughs> Listen, why we don't go a single week without me pissing you off at one point? Yep, every single week. Yep, yeah. Yep. Just, just remember, remember this bet. I will. You wrote well, it down. I have these two. Uh, yeah, remember, but remember this bet. Okay, you locked it in. Smash, smash. Okay, yeah. uh, so so you don't have any stats this week. Yeah. Like on like a like a really like a really good match when you're doing like like you you throw up some numbers. What are you throwing up? Okay, like 
You know, like, are you are you like an eight kill guy? Like, if you're like feeling it, and schmoz, you're, just, you're going in hard. And you know, what, you what's a low good? game for you? What's a schmoz? Can I answer real quick? Yeah, give me yeah, give me yeah. give me a rundown for schmoz, a shit game and a good game. Schmoz will never like his shit. Okay, let me let me explain it this way. Schmoz's good game will be from five to six to seven kills, okay. but his yeah. bad game will be no lower than three. So he's just right that, in the middle it's every weird, time. Actually. So you're just consistent. Consistent. No, because like I'll have some decent. like I'll have some like three O games where I don't it's like I'll put up probably second most damage, but I just I don't get kills. Don't get kills. I didn't get the knocks because I'm like because I'm like I'm octane, I fly in and then fly out. Okay. okay. And I, I, I pretty much bait for king anyways. Mm-hmm. So like it's like I'm pretty much like a masturbator in this situation. Yeah, a masturbator. Yeah. 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 So like, mm. I'm either like baiting my death or, or kings baiting you to get more kills. Yeah. So gotcha. I I I've I've had some like zero kill three o games, but I'm typically around like three to eight with uh, probably more assists than kills. Yeah. Or assists. Yeah. So you're an assist guy like Brian. I'm well, a Halo the player, stats will have to tell the tale. Yeah, the stats will have to tell the tale. We're gonna see but the stats. Schmoz never has like an awful game. It's the typically he won't have like that huge ten kill game uh-huh. in arenas anyway. Okay. And and BR is different. BR is completely different. But in arenas, like it'll be Schmoz, like he said, he's a master baiter. Like he will die to get me the kills all the gotcha. time. So, All the time. So he's what you would call an actually good teammate. Yes. Yeah. Unlike you. So, so he's like the opposite of me. Yes. He's yeah. like literally wow. night and day. I hate Schmoz even more now than I did before. Exactly. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Schmoz, if you get more assists than me, I'm going to be fucking pissed. I know. That I'm would, actually pretty good. That's heavy the on only assist. thing Brian's that's good at game. right now. And if you take that from him, that's just going to destroy I'm, his world. I, I, I want you to know that I'm going to be baiting assists the entire <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> Brian's just going to be. He's going to have a guy dead in the open. One shot, he's just going to stop kill, shooting. Your kill. Him. I got to heal. Shot. I, I'm yeah. literally at like. He's like, I got to uh, heal. He just has a little bit of shield off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a game with like King. I went like 3 and 12. With, with assist, with assist? Yeah. yeah, and I was like, I I just couldn't do anything. Dallas All right, Dallas you boys ready to start <laughs> reading off the cards? Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna start off with mine real quick, just because I got like quick four bets here. Uh, I want to eventually get some more. I just don't trust it this week, and I can't wait for Schmoz to be back next week to have more to bet on. So let me start it off here. I'm gonna go with my total wins over of six i think i can easily get more than six wins then i'm gonna go over on brian's total offense brian's total offense is at 74 he told me that he's gonna get more than that and i trust him i trust him this week i also trust brian enough to trust that he's gonna go over on his kills at 23 and i think he can do it he had a rough week he only had six kills one of his halves that doesn't happen very often i think that's one of those fluke weeks i had a fluke week i only had 28 kills this week that's like the lowest I've ever had. That's not good. Uh, but Close. You've had lower. Yeah, probably one, once. One, one week. Probably yeah. one week I had lower, and that was about it. And then we have my final uh, – My oh, I already – I wrote this bet down twice. <laughs> my total wins over. I'm going to give one more bet just because I'm going to say Kyle's assists – over at 15 i think he can easily get over 15 assists especially if he's playing by himself you never know what teammates you're gonna get he may get some assists on that one i hope he gets all ass teammates that's what i'm hoping to but Fuck either you. way kyle assists over kyle you got your card i have one spite bet on here a spite bet <laughs> sounds just, about right just one okay mm. okay well, let me hear it. But it, it, first, I'm going to say on my other bets first then i'll lead into the spite bet okay okay i got all overs and there's one under okay so I got Wyatt's wins over because if you don't hit over six wins, you're a punk ass bitch. Okay, um, understandable. I got Brian's kills over because he said he could do it, and if he can't do it, that makes me sad. And then I got my makes knocks over because I believe in myself, and if you can't bet on yourself, who are you gonna bet on? Nobody. Exactly. I love and, that you uh, said it. My last one is Brian's perfect games under because there's no fucking way in hell he's hitting three. Okay. I wish I could have made that bet myself. 
But you can't. On the last one. Because that it three perfect games in twelve is actually yeah. fucking very hard. hard. It's yeah. really fucking like that, hard. That's something that doesn't come easy. Okay. I, I got three perfect games last week, but I was like it like, was like a fucking grind. If, if I was playing those. ranked, I might be able to three O more often. Like I think that I could actually do that. Like if I played ranked with a team, I could three O people more often. But in because of my current rank, I just haven't played ranked much. But right now, doing it in pubs might be a little harder because they have me a little more dialed well, in, in pubs. Another thing is if you don't play with a teammate, if you don't play like a, with a team in ranked, those teams are so much well coordinated, like more oh, yeah. than you. So like you just get stomped on, and so like you're I, at I'm least definitely going playing to pubs. lose one round instead of getting a three. I'm definitely playing all pubs, Brian. Yeah, Your card, my card. Uh, let's see. I've got three overs. I only made three bets this week. There's only three that I really felt comfortable on. There was a fourth, but I can't bet under on myself, and it's just not in me to bet under on myself. Exactly. It, you can't bet on yourself. Who are you gonna bet on? So in that light, I said over on my total, or sorry, my total offense. I almost said round one. <laughs> Threw that shit out the window. Nope. Total uh, offense at seventy four. Yep. So then I put. And over on Wyatt, your total wins at six. I think you can do more than six. 50% is low balling for you. Yep. Uh, and then I put over again on Wyatt for your total kills. You had a down week. I think even another down week from you is better than 38 total kills. Okay. I have faith in that, so I'm going to put my money on there. Okay. And that is my perfect card for the week. All right. For the first time ever, Schmozzi with the card. All right, here we go. Wyatt Bab, mm-hmm. I want you over on your kills. I mean, not uh, sorry, not on your kills, on your wins. Over six, easily. That's That seems easy. But what? I have you under on your second half kills. At 19. At 19. Okay. For Kyle, I have you over on your total offense. I believe in you. 98, huh? 98? I believe. Because I think the – I was sure that Kyle seven plays more different points. on randoms. Okay. Yeah, ninety eight. Just I, trust, I, trust dude, me. I I want to throw it out there that like that total offense number. I think they're all low this week. Well, now, on on normal weeks, we are all breaking, or I'm probably closing in on a hundred, and you guys are shattering a hundred. Okay, all right, interesting. And uh, just going along with my notes here, um, Brian, under on your second half kills oh, at fuck. twelve. Sorry, my note. That's that's my notes. Don't blame me. Blame my notes. That's his notes. Listen, yeah. I notes. I know I tilt in the second half. That's fine. Exactly. I can, I can agree But I do have you over on total wins. At seven? At seven. Okay. Well, I do want you to know that you, you bet on Wyatt in the second half under, right? Yeah, because also my notes, my it says half. not a spite player. He will get tilted, and he doesn't play better when he's mad. No. That's very but, true. But he is a second half player. But he's not a spite player. That's true. So it might just and plus it, it and plus it, if he's playing with me and yeah. I'm not a good leader, I will buy into that spite Schmoz, because I am a spite player. Schmoz will get mad and then I have to it it's crazy cuz you guys you guys would never think I'd be this guy. <laughs> but when he gets mad, I have to bring him back and so I have to be positive even when I'm mad and when I bring Schmoz back and then we start getting W. Yep. Cards are ready to go? Is that all of your cards? All Plus, your bets? You want everything? Me, I'll throw down another one if you do want. Do you want listen. another one? Is or there another one you, you want to take? Kyle, another pick, one. Kyle, pick a number one through 20. 20. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right. Uh, oh, hey, why? I think you can go over on perfect. I think you can oh, go 2. to. 2.5? Yeah, okay. I think you can go to. Easy. Okay. All right. All right. So that should just about wrap it up for the show, boys. We got all of our cards in. Welcome, Schmozzi, to the show. Thank you. How was it? It was delightful. Okay, cool. I'm glad, wow, I'm glad I've never had that happen. Yeah. I'm, I'm a. I'm not used to this positive encouragement from. I, I try to be no. positive. All right, boys, that should just about wrap it up for episode 49. We welcome Schmozzy to the show. It's going to be a great time. Can't wait to see what bets we can have next week. Can't wait to get into all of that. What do you guys think about the Seer nerfs? What do you, What would you guys do? And. Don't forget to send us some DMs. Check out Raise Energy. Use code BANNER, 15% off all Raise Energy products. Boys, let's clock out for the night and uh, get ready for episode fucking 50. We're almost there, baby. We're one week away. All right, boys, we'll catch you guys next time. All right. See you. See you.